Well, success looks like you know, when, when we finish this tournament, um, we sit back and reflect that we've, we've done absolutely everything we possibly can to prepare, that we've done everything we possibly can during the games. And I mean, that's with the players, I mean, that's with the immediate staff, I mean, with, with the backroom staff, the support staff from the RFL, everybody included. And if, if we achieve that, if we achieve that success in, in aims of, of that amount of preparation, the performance will follow. If the performance follows, well, I'm certainly not going to make bold predictions, but we'll be in a, a, in a great position. I'll, I'll be honest, I, I, you know, I, I'm sat really comfortable in terms of where we are, where our programme's at, where our players are at, where our group as a whole is at, uh, their understanding of what's expected of them on a, on a daily basis and throughout this tournament is, is, par is apparent. It's great to see, so I think you know, at this moment in time, or right now should I say, it's uh, now uh, I'm sure there'll be some sleepless nights to come, but not quite yet. For us to uh, win this competition, we have to be even better than we finished the domestic season. We have to be bigger, stronger, faster. We have to be more skillful. And this training environment at altitude enables us to do that without putting too much stress and too much time on the feet for the players. So uh, that is the, the physical aspect is, the main, is one of the main reasons. But obviously, when you get a group out here as well, and they don't have to go home to families, they ain't got to go pick the kids up from school. They've got no other distractions apart from rugby league. It really, really brings the focus together, and, and we, we can get a lot of lot, lot of work done in a short period of time. Look, they've trained hard out here. You know, they, they have pushed themselves extremely hard out here, and there's, the physical contact on each other has been you know, pretty brutal at times. When you when you see the standard that they practice to, uh, I think it's time to unleash that on an opposition. I think the players will be ready for that by the time it comes around to next Saturday. Uh, and it's time for the, particularly for some players who have, it's been a long time since they've played, get their timing back, which is going to be important. It's been a whole lifetime, a whole generation, if you like, of, of, of us not seeing success against Australia. And I think that's hurt, I think that's hurt as, you know, as a sport. And we need to break that cycle. And the people who achieved that back in 72 were obviously very, very good at their jobs, uh, got it done, did it in a, in a fashion, you know, what was tough and determined. And we need to replicate that. And, give the generation of kids who are coming through now something really, really to uh, aspire to and want to be. What's Steve McNamara going to do after the World Cup? Hopefully celebrate. Celebrate with a trophy and, and with, the, with the boys and and sit back and acknowledge that we've done a, a brilliant job. Um, and then on the back of that, make some decisions as to which way my future is going to go. I've, I've really, really enjoyed this job. Uh, the project, and it has been a project. It's not just been a, a job where, obviously, we don't play as many fixtures as we would like, but putting a whole project together, an England programme together, has been very enjoyable. And, uh, yeah, I'll have to give it some serious consideration afterwards, but it's... Um, it's been a good job and one that hopefully uh, you know, I get an opportunity to, to continue in. When I ask you right now, do you think you'll be coaching the, the national setup in 2014? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I think we'll be successful. I think we'll get an opportunity to do some things that no other team for over 40 years has done. Uh, and I look at the, the youth of this squad. We've got, we've got a couple of senior players, particularly in the back row positions. and and Kevin the halves at this moment in time, but I look at how young, fit and virile this squad is and how energetic it is and how many years it's got left in front of it. Added to some players who are sitting on the peripheries at the minute ready to come in and, and enhance that and I think it's a real exciting time for the England Rugby League team.